Okay, we're on the second video now. We're actually going to finish up our banner ad, and what I want to do is now extend this second frame. So the first frame is working fine, and I got my animations working. Feeling really good about that, and then I want my second frame to go, and uh, I've already got a problem here, and so let me just do two things. Let's extend the frame set, okay? So let's ex extend the bottom image. So when I click on that, you see the image highlights. Let's go all the way over to 140. What is the key that I hit? You guys remember? F5. Very good, F5. And that shortcut key will actually save you a lot of pain. But none of my other things are showing. So let's go back to the original view right here. Now I have a problem. See, this doesn't really highlight. I can't see that very well, right? So if I build something in Photoshop and it doesn't look good, I have another chance I can actually fix it in Flash. And so what I'm going to do here is actually fix this in Flash. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this again. And actually brings it into its keyframe. You see that? And let's see that dark right there? I can actually now see I'm going to level down. I'm on the on go. I can actually now go ahead and put another layer in there. Let's put that on the bottom. It's a little trick here. And what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to actually put something. I'm going to lock this so it doesn't get in my way. And put something underneath, which is a little white background. And I'm not putting the outer edge on it, so I'll just put a little white background around it. So you can actually see it better. And I'm actually going to turn that white background into a movie clip. All right, click or hit F8 if you want to. Uh, convert symbol is that what you get there if you do it that way, and we'll call it um, white background. Hit OK, and now what I'm going to do is go over to my properties panel. I'm actually going to fade that a little bit, so we'll go to um, style, and we'll go to alpha, and we'll just fade that down a little bit. There you go. So it looks pretty good. I can actually see it now where I couldn't see it before. And there's one more trick I want to show you here. We're going to get off of that now. So that's done. And we can go back real quick. Let's go back one. And there you go. Actually, show, actually I don't like need to be a little bit wider, don't you think so? Just a little bit wider. Up, oh, went too far. Let's go back. And so we'll go back to properties and bring up the alpha and make the alpha a little bit darker. Or wider, I guess. There you go. That's better. Okay, go. Good, we'll go with that and go ahead and get out of that. Go back one with your breadcrumbs. That's what those are called. And that looks pretty good. Well, anyway, it looks okay. And at this point, I actually might want to put a little drop shadow on that. And the way I do that is, anybody got an idea? Go back to properties. And remember what I said to you guys about properties? All the good stuff, what? Is at the bottom of the cup. All right, so if you go to properties and go all the way down to the bottom, you can see there's a little folder here. You click on that folder. And there's all your filters, and I can put a drop shadow on that. There you go, nice little drop shadow. So it looks a little bit more distinct. You may not want to go with that. If you don't, well, then you know you can you can change it, or you can actually animate that drop shadow so it goes around like it looks like the sun's rising and falling. Okay, just just use the animation on it. We won't do that tonight, but we've talked a little bit about filters, and we'll be using filters more and more as we move on. It's just really great. You can rapidly put some really good stuff on something. But remember, if you overuse them, what do you do? You tax your processor. So there's always a trade-off before between good looks and, and taxed processor. So that's done. That's pretty cool. So I can do lots of things with that. I can animate that in or whatever. But since we're working with that, we have to actually have to extend that. So we, have, we need to decide what kind of animation we want to do here. So I can animate custom. Ah, 3D. That, very good. I was thinking that too. So what I'm going to do here is just right-click on this. I'm going to go uh, tween, create tween motion. And then I'm going to actually... Um, Yeah, make my own. Now, why didn't it do something? I said create tween motion. That's not good. Oh, that didn't go out like I wanted it to. Can I pull that out? Okay, there it is. I had to pull it out that time. And what I'm going to do at the very end here, I'm actually going to rotate it. So I'm actually going to use my little uh, rotation tool here. Got a 3D rotation right here. So in this particular case, I can actually rotate it around. Okay, just leave a little rotation right there. Let's see what happens. Not quite. See what happens is, what what it, the, the problem here is that it got to like a 360, and it can't tell the difference between, you know, like 369 and zero degrees, for example. So it really had a problem with that. So let's try it again, and let's see if we do a little bit more there. Let's see what happens here. See, so it's it doesn't know. So let's go back to the beginning. Let's see if we can rotate it back around. Let's go back around. So we can actually rotate it halfway. That one should be pretty attractive. And rotate it up. And we'll actually rotate it all the way up this time. There you go. How's that? Actually rotate it like that a little bit. All right. 
Ta-da! Womp. All right, not too bad. Not too good, but not too bad. So let's go right here, let's extend that frame, and let's go ahead and come right here. What key do I hit? F5, F5 absolutely. And there, what I got going so far right there. So now let's go ahead and run the animation so we can see something. You guys are probably ready to actually build the rest of it yourself, right? So let's run my banner. Always be there. Even while on the go. Well, that was kind of corny, wasn't it? And then over here on the side, you know, your buttons and everything would appear so you can actually uh, press something and, you know, go somewhere. So that's pretty much the class. What I want you guys to do as an assignment is finish your own banners, okay? Show those to me next week, and hopefully I can give you A pluses. I expect yours, Zach, to definitely be an A plus. And nothing less from you, Matt, okay? Awesome. Do something awesome. All right, so thanks for listening, and I'll see you guys next time.